Hey guys, Glenn here. I bought every blue PLA on Amazon that I could find under $20, tested them, and weeded out the baddies so you don't have to. We got light blue, we got dark blue, we got medium blue, we got shiny blue, we got sparkly blue. We even got maybe purple? I don't know, but they call it royal blue, so it's a blue. I'm gonna compare all the colors, I'm gonna show you the differences, I'm gonna show you how they print. If you're in the market for a blue PLA at the end of this video, you're gonna know which one you want. Okay, out of all the blue PLAs that I purchased, only one is not below $20, and that's because it's not on Amazon. It's actually a blue PLA I had sitting around that Ibos or EIBOS, I'm not really sure how to pronounce her name, sorry, it was sent me for a sample, but it's a really cool matte filament, so I figured I would uh, include that. It's called Oceana, but all the rest of the PLAs are under $20 on Amazon. I'm gonna put all the links down below, so whichever one you want, you can purchase. If you want to, they are affiliate links, and I will get credit if you purchase from any of my affiliate links. Now, all these filaments I bought three months ago, I left them open to see if they are super hydroscopic because all those that will be hydroscopic and get super, super stringy after being open for three months, you're gonna see the difference. And certain ones, if you want filament to sit around and not have to be put into a dry box all the time, is gonna be part of your decision. I run most of my channel on running a print farm, and if you run a print farm, I want you to be able to buy 20 of these, leave them out, and they're gonna print perfectly whenever you need them. But even if you don't own a print farm and you're just doing this as a hobby, you should still know that if it gets super brittle or if it gets super stringy because it takes on too much water during the summertime, which we just went through, you're gonna know that you might not wanna buy that filament versus another filament of a similar color. At the end, I'm also gonna show them all up close to each other so that you can choose exactly which color you want specifically. Some of them are super cool, like the sparkly one or the shiny one. I was super excited to do this because my favorite color is blue, so let's get into it. All right, first up is Dark Blue by iBoss. Uh, as you can see, prints very well for being left out for three months in pretty wet conditions. The Cali Dragon came out pretty good. The color is basically, if you're going to start selling things in blue, I think a lot of people will be happy with this blue. I would say this is a nice medium to darker blue. Next up is Overture Easy PLA. They call this Easy Digital Blue, um, which whatever. Uh, I like the color. It's if you're looking for a very vibrant blue, uh, like a neon blue, this is it. Worked pretty good, not too stringy for being out a couple months. You can see it prints pretty well. You just hit this with a heat gun and boom, it's gone. I do like this filament if you're looking for this specific color. This is the lightest, most neon one I tested. Um, pretty cool color. Uh, kind of a matte to it, not too shiny as you can see, um, but performed okay. I find that Overture Easy PLA actually performs, you know, pretty good. Um, I haven't had anything that is not reliable. Even the white actually has been pretty good uh, with the with the Easy PLA. Okay, next up, this is Blue by Handini, um, which I've never heard of that brand before, but uh, it actually came out pretty good. You can see it's like like not stringy at all. It's been out for months. Um, very legible. This is a top score actually, for, especially for someone that I don't even know uh, what Handini is. Uh, it's the first filament that I ever got from them, uh, but it actually uh, looks looks really good. So if, you, if the price is right for this one, definitely go with Handini if you like this color. Next up, this is blue from Eligu or Elegu, Elego, I don't know um, how to pronounce it, uh, like most of these brand names for some reason, um, but came out pretty good. Um, a little bit of white down here. It's probably hard to see in the camera. Um, I would say it's a lighter, more matte blue than the Handini. However, uh, tested very well. I would go with this one again, if you like the color. This is Galaxy Glitter Blue by Strong Hero 3D. Um, this one is a really, really neat one. It reminds me of like a Prusa a Prusa PLA because, you know, Prusa does this with the sparklies in there. Uh, it prints very well, however, obviously very stringy. So, you know, if you leave a filament out like this 
for a long time. It's gonna get like this. It also is pretty brittle. Um, silk and stuff like that. It's gonna just get brittle, but it is a really cool filament if you're looking for a special project. I wouldn't buy this if you were gonna sell it because some people just aren't into the sparkle uh, and it, it just might not conform to uh, all the blues. It's also like kind of a purplish versus a blue. Um, so, you know, be your own judge on if you think that's purple or blue. However, really neat filament. Okay, next up, this one is really neat. It's called Sapphire Blue by CC3D. Um, prints very, very well, but I do have to note that it does get pretty brittle if you leave it out. A lot of silk filaments, they do do that. They get brittle, um, you know, when, they, when they're left out, uh, and eventually, you know, you really probably should put this away somewhere if you're gonna leave it out more than a couple, two or three months. Um, but it, it printed very, very well for a silk. Um, you can see for yourself, this is one of my favorite blue filaments. Next up is J.O. This is blue by J.O. It um, did not print really nice, honestly. You could see, especially with the words in there. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of stringy, but it's it has this white to it um, in the blue that, uh, and like, you see this white here. I hope it's coming out on camera. Uh, it doesn't look... Good. I would not use it as my normal filament I have in the past however uh, this blue it, it just didn't make it in my opinion you know if you get it certainly cheap enough anything's worth the price but pretty stringy uh, for three months being left out and the, the white um, same thing with it if you like snap something off it's gonna be really really white um, and I'm just not a fan of that next up is CC 3d royal blue now um, it's bluish, but more purplish in my opinion. Uh, this is the most towards the purple spectrum that you're going to get. Now, if you're looking for a more purple slash royal blue, um, this is it for you. Performs pretty well. Um, not really stringy at all. Uh, maybe a little bit of failure, um, as you can see right there over in the overhang. Um, however, I mean, that's extreme, so a lot of them do that. Okay, next up is a brand that is so hit or miss, I just never know what they're gonna give me. This is King Rune. Um, it did print and come out very nice. However, um, I have gotten blues in the past that are actually slightly different colors. So if you ordered King Rune, you might not get the exact color it seems like from batch to batch they change. Um, also, I have used a lot of King Rune in the past. Um, that that just didn't perform uh, like the black it just clogged and just I had nothing but problems with it uh, back and forth it all depends on on you know if you want to try it out and if it's really really cheap give it a shot um, however I am very skeptical of King Rune but it is very cheap a lot of times so it might be worth the gamble just be just realize that in my opinion you're kind of gambling what you're gonna get with the King Rune but this not too bad Next up is 3D Hojor. Um, this is the darkest blue that I tested. If you're looking for the darkest blue that I can find, because it's really hard to tell just from Amazon pictures, because they're always different from what you actually get. That's part of the reason why I'm doing this. Um, this is the darkest, if that's what you want. Um, not too shiny, kind of like a matte, a little bit of shine on there. Not too stringy, performed pretty well. I don't see any like white marks, maybe a little bit of white there, but not too noticeable. Um, pretty good filament in my opinion. And here we have Ibos Oceana. It is kind of a bluish gray. So this is the most towards the gray spectrum that I have tested so far. Um, it is pretty cool filament because it's matte. It's the most matte also that we have. A little bit of stringing, not too bad for leaving it out for months. Um, this one actually had laying around, so it's probably been out for over a year, honestly. Um, you can get this for, currently, I checked the price, it's $25 plus shipping, unless you buy like two rolls or something like that, um, on their website. The overhang did pretty well. There is something here, I don't know what that is. Probably my printer's fault, so I wouldn't look too much into that. But um, the things that I printed with this um, have come out really good. And it's a really cool filament. Um, 
I would definitely get it. It's it's on the higher end, but if you're doing a specific project that, that you're looking for a color like this that's matte, uh, this is it because you're not going to find it anywhere else, I don't think. Now I'm going to show you them all next to each other so you can make a decision if they're close in color to one another. We got iBoss. We have Handini, Alugu, Overture Easy PLA. This is the JO. This is the CC3D. This is the... 3D Hojor, that's the Royal, this is the CC 3D Royal Blue. Here you can see the Strong Hero 3D, that's the King Rune, and that's all of them. Hopefully this helps guys. Hopefully this video helped make your decision on which blue PLA was the best for you. Comment down below what filament is your favorite brand. Also. I'd like to know, what color do you want to see? I've done black, I've done gold, now I've done blue. I'm looking for the next color to compare all the filaments that I can buy on Amazon. Which color do you think should be next? Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video because it really helps out my channel. Watch this video next and I'll see you over there.